Okay, so now here is another video showing the Lex Luthor. Okay, so now with the Lex Luthor, Luthor, Luthor boss, you can um, block break him on his hand blasters move where there's a beam, um, like here. I should have blocked and it would, would have meal in me and I wouldn't have taken the damage. That move I can block and that move as well. And so now, there should be a skull move on this attack because he's laughing. Because when Lex starts laughing, he's looking at the group right now. So everyone in the group has to roll back and run away from him. Because if you don't run away, look what happens. That green, that's one of his um, one shots. If you're inside it, you die. Okay? So now every time he laughs, that is when you need to run. He will either do that um, green stuff on the floor or he will do a laser, which I will show you right now once he does it. So now he's laughing at me and as a tank I must run away because if I had stayed there I would have died. So now he is laughing, no he's not. Sometimes you can't tell with Lex. Okay, now he's doing something. He did something on the group right there. And that person did not, oh wow, now there's two people dead. So that's Lex Luthor in a nutshell. He, he, every time he laughs he will do either do a laser, green laser, move on you which if you're too close you will die at if you're a DPS healer or troller for a tank he doesn't do much damage but then his second move which he might do is the green stuff on the floor which is a one shot for all walls doesn't matter if you're a tank with shields it will go, f it will eat your shield away and it will keep you stunned and you will die by the damage it, he does okay so that's round one round one for lex as a tank just you can kite him around the room you can counter his moves because his hand blasters okay so if you're very familiar with hand blasters you can counter him very easily and let's move on to round two which is king shark so now from the raid king shark is going to do a skull move like here and look at the direction he's heading. So he's gonna head in that direction. So this guy here should roll out the way, which he does. Perfect. And after that skull attack, he just comes back to the tank. Most of King Shark's moves you can um, um, melee him out of by using the range and block move. So now, this particular move he, does, he has done here, roll away from it. Because that move hits a lot in survival mode. It does a lot of damage. So roll away when he's, um, whatever he's doing there. I think he's breathing something on you. It's like a raw, raw move from King Shark. But you have to move away from it because that does a lot of damage. So that skull attack. And this move you have to avoid. Okay. And now <clears throat> in, in this particular round you have the... Um, twist cyclones or water cyclones that you must avoid because that is a one shot let me see if i can there you go so these cyclones please stay away from them because they do a lot of damage okay so now can you see he's blocking if i'd held block there i would have countered him and now when he spins that's when he summons his um his twisters so you also need to avoid this twisting move which he goes around in a circle this boss is okay this boss ain't too bad you just have to avoid his charges the twisters he spawns that raw move he, he just did on me there and where he spins around in a circle you need to avoid all that and there you go, that circle move, just avoid it, that is when the twisters come, I can see he's going towards this person here, he, okay, he moved out of the way, now he's following that person there, now he's charging, so, that's all it is to King Shark, 
just need to be on, on point the whole group and avoid all these charges. And let's move on to round three. I think I covered three, haven't I? Which is Bond Savage. Yes, I have. So that was round one and two. Let me have a look. Yep. So that's that's the guides for round one and two bosses. Okay. So just like before, if you do have any questions, please um, comment away in the comment section. Don't be afraid to ask me any questions you might have. Okay. So thank you for watching. So hello guys, here is another video and this time I will be going over survival round SM survive round 3 So now this boss is going to be Baron Von Savage Just check on recording, yes I am <coughs> So with this particular job, um, boss You need to, um, most of his attacks will are staff based and they will be melee So you can just sit there, hold block, cycle your shields and basically be okay with the damage that the boss does on you on the higher rounds like round 13 um, you will need to kite him around a lot and um, because you won't be able to take the damage so as you can see I'm, I'm tanking him here <coughs> so now that's his first um, skull attack so now you can either um, roll away and or you can hit your immunity and um, and you won't get stunned like that or pushed back okay so that's his first red skull now on his second red skull and after okay before I get ahead of myself after that red skull his first one he will jump away from you and he will go towards a group and do a few hits here and there if you if you stay in front of him he will die but you need to roll away as soon as he jumps away from the tank if you if you're a healer tank if you're a healer dps or troller you need to roll away and you will survive the attacks he does okay so now when he jumps away from you he will jump back just like he's done here so if i had held block there i would have countered him but i didn't now this is his um skull attack which he every person needs a block including the tank so once a red skull attack comes i'll show you now this one here you can tell this one's different because he's holding his stuff up in the air and he's shaking it so as you can see everyone who was blocking did not die except for this guy called nighty he died because he was not blocking so that's the only two things well three things you need to um be uh, knowledge knowledgeable about about in regards to this boss his two skull attacks one skull attack is on the tank second skull attack um, is a one shot everybody needs a block after his first skull he will lunge away from the tank and just do a bit of damage on on the area that he's lunged away from so if you're in that area you will take a lot of damage but if you roll away he will be fine other than that this boss is very simple there's nothing more to it so that's the round 3 boss defeat Baron Von Savage now let's skip ahead and let's go to round 4 ok so now round 4 is defeat Johnny Quick now for this boss I will show you the trick to tank in it so now after this ad dies so the main in this um, video I did not have immunity in my um, loadout before the Johnny quick part the tank must use immunity because when everyone gets tethered where tethered means where everyone's getting pulled together because of the lightning as a tank if you hit your immunity it will stop that pulling effect on the group and okay so now he is hitting me at the moment so now he's doing a skull attack so can you see the lightning strikes here and behind me 
if I had my immunity and I hit my immunity at this exact moment he did this, this lightning strike would stop in the group. Now he's um, teleported away, he's doing his thing with his red skull, that's fine. As soon as his this red skull is done, he's gonna, now you need to melee him. Every time after a red skull he was do a cyclone attack and as a tank you must be ready to melee him out of it. If you don't melee him, he's gonna pull on a random group member and one shot him. Okay? As you can see he did it again and now this part here when we first did this we did it wrong we the best way is to go in the middle the DPS kills the one clone in the middle everyone goes in the middle and holds block you can stay on the sides but sometimes at the higher rounds the they you get more clones and the damage on the side is sometimes a one shot as you can see here it was okay now as soon as Johnny comes out try to get his aggro as soon as you can but by default he was he will try to lunge one of the group members as you can see here he tried to lunge 90 but he moved out of the way the skull attack melee him but because I was immune I could not melee him so you can see after every skull attack just be ready to lunge his cyclone move please as a tank that's the main key to this as you can see after his skull attack he did a cyclone I melee him out of it So that's about it with this boss. See his tethered lightning, I should have used immunity here, but I did not have one. But as a tank, you must use immunity. It stops the pulling on the group. So that's about it for Johnny Quick. <clears throat> nice and simple. The tank needs to be on point here with the lunges. Uh, and the group needs to stay apart from each other. Stay spread out, be on point with the pickups and you guys should get through this boss without any problems as you can see I didn't I there, there's a melee now the round 5 boss let's head over of course you can tell we died there so let's skip and I think I went to respec here because we wiped and let's go to round so the round we did was round four so round five is vampire lord okay so now Round 5 is defeat Vampire Lord. So now, to counter this boss, you can only melee two of his skull attacks. The other skull attacks try to stay um, ranged from him, and you will be fine. And he does two he does two melee attacks on you, which you can block and counter him on. So let me show you right now. So now, I countered him. Let me show you from the skull attack. So that's. His that one skull attack is a pull on the group and you can't melee that and that cannot be countered. So now that's one of his melee attacks. So now skull attack, I can't counter that either. Can't counter that. That's another melee attack I should have blocked. So now that's his first skull attack I can counter, which I did. Now his that's another, um, can see that if you look very closely, there's a counter symbol. I should have melee there. And now he does another um, melee attack, which I should have countered. When I was tanking this boss, I wasn't aware of this. But now I've studied the boss more and I've run it more multiple times. I have got the counters down to 100%. So another melee attack, I should have blocked it. So all of his um, attacks can be countered except for the three moves. So that one I should have blocked 
because that was his hand blaster move. If I had blocked, I wouldn't have taken the higher damage. And again, so this move he does on the top, if you hold block, it'll knock him on, on the floor. And now he's gone back to his um, normal moves, his skull attack, which are merely there. And let's see what he does now. So this one I can counter again. So with this particular boss you need to be very on point with the counters because it stops a lot of damage coming your way as a tank, especially on the higher rounds. So now with this boss you have adds. So once the boss teleports to um, the pool, everyone needs to be holding block. If you don't hold block, you will get pulled inside the pool and you, you will lose a lot of health because the pools at this high CR, they do a lot of damage. As you can see, I'm blocking. Everyone's blocking. Now he's coming. So that's one of his moves. When he melees you, you can, if you hold block, you can counter him and I took no damage. That move I should have blocked. Now his skull. See, when I was tanking this, I I wasn't doing it as well as I, I had hoped. So now I can de I counted him there, and now I should have blocked that one. So I now, when you see these bat things here, you need, need to move out the way because this purple stuff will come down, and if you stay in there for too long, you will die instantly. So then now let me do it forward to the part where we have an add. So now here. So now Vampire Lord is here. I can counter him there, but now he's gonna spawn a add. <coughs> see that purple thing? Move out the way when you see them bats. See I should have counted him there with the solar flame attack. <coughs> now my moon, I can't do it. So now here I believe we have the add. See now I should have melee him there with that move. See we wiped. So now we wiped again and again. This is where we were um, just going through the rough rounds, you know. Everyone has some rough uh, moments in SM. So now, there are two types of ads. The snake torrent, if you are too close like this guy was, it will kill you. So try to stay in max range and you and kill the snake as quick as you can while the vampire lord is inside the pools. When he's inside the pool, try to block but and don't carry on DPS in the um, ad, especially the snake one. Once he's out of the pool, focus the snake while the tank take care of the, takes care of the boss. So as you can see, um, I died because I wasn't paying attention. Let me wiped again. So now, let me see if I can show you a part where we have a add. Let's have a look. So here, so this shadow monster, <clears throat> the boss is there, try to do your best to kill this ad as quick as you can because some of these ads, if it's a, especially a werewolf, will heal the boss. So this is a shadow uh, monster, um, a bird type creature, so this boss, so this ad won't heal the boss. But if you have a werewolf that's up for too long with the boss, it will heal him to full health. So that's the one thing you guys need to be careful of with while doing this boss okay as you can see i melee him there with the solar flame attack which is good so at this point i was starting to get used to his mechanics and how he moved as a boss see here i should have um yeah i was taking a lot of damage because this guy was still alive this um shadow monster now he's in the pools now we hold him block and no one's dps in the ad 
because we know that if you do you will get pulled inside the pool and die <coughs> so once the vampire lord is out of the pools kill the ad melee the boss make sure you are on point with the counters okay that's the main key for defeating this boss now let's skip forward to black manta so now now with this boss let me show you let me go back again so black manta will ha do a skull attack which will be his laser beam you, you, everybody in the group needs to block his laser beam because if you do not block it you will die so let me show you a example where he does his um, skull attack he will also spawn random bombs stay away from the bombs they also do a one shot first let me show you his um, skull attack which he will do any moment now <coughs> so can you see this bomb here if you are anywhere near this bomb you will die so try to stay away please so now he's facing me so can you see this red skull the direction he's facing is the direction he's going to do the beam so now the beam attack I blocked and I survived okay so with this particular boss as a tank just try to kite him around the room if you can tank him without kiting him and you can take the hits then please or by all means do that okay so now on the test server they um, we did not have to get any bombs but now on the live server they changed it we need to get the bombs each person needs to get a minimum of um, three bombs each and this happens three times on every time the boss loses 30% so on 70% we will have the bombs phase then at 40% we will have another bombs phase but when the boss is at 10% which is the last time he does the bomb phase is where we need to get the bombs then after that you defeat the boss and you finish the round so let me show you let me go to surround where is around 70% that's around somewhere around here <coughs> come on where you are yeah. have I skipped it because it's every 30% loss on his health is where he does the bombs there you go so now as you can see everyone spaced out there's one guy here who's going to get the bombs in that in that circle area there someone's getting it there and going that way and then this guy is going to make him my way here so now the timer on these bombs are very slow so you can get three f the maximum i have got ever is five bombs that's how easy it is and you need a total of nine to stop the bombs from going off <clears throat> and when you're getting the bombs please try to space them out so get this one then that one then that one and so on and if you still have time you can get the ones in between it just stops the uh, bombs from triggering so I got this one here as you can see then I went across the room because I knew that guy was there getting the ones there and I got this one then I went across the room again and I got this one here and I believe we got enough and we did not die there you go so that's his first phase of bombs now let me skip to the second phase so that was the first of, yep that was the first phase second phase should be here now so now here that's the second phase of bombs <coughs> so once this half bar reaches the letter just after the M is where we get the next phase of the bombs come on okay just after the M oh my god I 
I've missed it again. Sorry, guys. Let me find it. There. So now that's the second phase. So I got one there. I got, now I went this way because I knew this area was empty. I got that's my second one, third one, and now that's my fourth one. So in just in that run alone, I was able to get four as a tank, and the boss is hitting me at the same time. So as a DPS, as a controller, where the boss is nowhere near you, you can get much more than me. Okay, and we survived it, as you can see. Then he does another one just before he's about to die, but I think in that run I might have missed it. I'm sure he did three phases, let me double check that. Oh yeah, okay, so that's his first phase, which is 70%, which I missed. There you go, so just to recap on Black Manta. See, over here I wasn't paying attention, so here, that's his first phase of bombs, when his health bar is there. So here, I wasn't really aware of this uh, mechanic until someone told us in the live stream. But it looks like everyone in the group was able to get enough bombs without me even doing anything. But I still advise you as a tank to get the bombs, please. So that's the set first, then second is second. Let me see. Yeah, he does. So he does three phases. So the first phase was where his health was a bit higher, which was there. Let me find the second phase for you. Okay, I'll just speed. I'll just speed it up because now I can't find it. <coughs> so we have had the first phase already. Do we need to go faster? Playback speed faster. Okay, now there's a second phase, so that is just after the A, and then the other phase, so it's, that's the second phase. Now the third phase is going to be around just before he dies. There you go. Then there's a third phase. So just to recap, um, first phase is there, second phase is here, then the third phase is there. So those are the three places you need to remember on Black Manta, where that is the time where everyone in the groups needs to get ready, have some kind of shielding from the healer in the supercharge. Because I was atomic, I had the shield for atomic, which was a mass density supercharge for the whole group so there's the three phases on black manta that you guys need to get because if you wipe on this you have to start from a vampire lord again okay and that's about it i think then you have um deathstroke here so hopefully this guide was useful um, tank uh, from round one, um, f from round three to six.
showing you the boss mechanics and explaining how to do it. Thank you for watching. Hello guys, um, in today's video I will be going over all of the different bosses in survival mode. Um, so now this particular boss is on round 7. So now with Deathstroke, the main key to Deathstroke is on every, on every, on every skull attack it does, the tongue can melee him out of it. So if you watch this video here, I'll show you what I mean. See the red skull? I melee him out of it, right there. And as a tank, and again, can see the counter symbol above his head? I melee him again. Most of his skulls can be melee and countered like this one here. I melee him again. The only skull on the Deathstroke that cannot be melee is his... Um, orange shield which you need a orbital and a bit of damage to remove so as you can see there was another skull and i was able to block break him out of it so death stroke i say is a pretty easy boss to tank see i can melee him again the only times where he will do some damage on you is with his one handed with his one and um i think is tap tap hold hold like the weapon mastery version of it but deathstroke doesn't so for that part just have a shield ready and you will um absorb and mitigate the damage but all of his red skulls as you can see from the video that they can be melee and deathstroke's very powerful attacks can be avoided and of course at the beginning of the fight Deathstroke will do the laser only once and the best way to avoid that is to just to run around Deathstroke that includes the group members but as a tank if you cannot do that you can use Amazonian deflection to avoid the one shot from the laser so let's continue that's round 7 done round 8 let's get to the boss So these are the two ways. Okay. So now with Minotaur, the way I tanked him was I this attack he does with his um with his range attack you can counter him, but I didn't choose to do that. This attack here, right now, which it is did now, you can counter him by hitting a melee button by clipping it with your pull. So he charges here and as a tank you must stay away from him or he will do a one shot on you. Now he, you saw he tried to melee me there but I ran and kited him away and I just countered him there and again. So these moves you can counter if you're taking too much damage but I chose sometimes to do it and sometimes I chose not to do it. So as you can see the chain was right there in that corner there. So if I tank him on the opposite side, which I was trying to do, but I later discovered how to do it. But you need to make sure that he hits the chains. So then his one shot damage he does not do on the, he doesn't do that on the tank. So as you can see, I'm not taking much damage from his um hits here, so I didn't bother countering him. But on higher rounds you will need to do that. I'm just hitting my shields, keeping my aggro and I'm moving out of his range. That is the best way to tank him if if you're scared you might not be able to take the hits. As you can see he's about to charge me. That's another move that you guys need to avoid. When he's charging someone you will see the red arrows on the floor. Do not move too early. If you move too early he might kill you just move as soon as it's halfway between you and the distance so if you're here and Minotaur's here as soon as he reaches halfway you can roll out the way and he will and he will go past you so with this boss um, 
try to make sure that he goes towards the chains as best as you can if not um, he gets bugged so the main key is try to um, the group members have to be by the chain as you could see this guy here healer here at chain so when he does do the charge he will go towards the group and the group will move out the way just in time and he will hit the chain and I will show you that part right now where he gets stunned which is over here sorry for the background noise so he's gonna charge I think this way he gets stunned no it doesn't let me show you the part where he gets stunned there you go so this is a part where he um, charged and he broke the chain and now he's stunned for two three seconds and this is where you can use the orbitals and everything that's a perfect moment so as you can see he melee me and I just rolled away and also there's one other thing I need to mention is uh, let me see if I can find it for you let's have a look um, where's it gone Um, I need to show you that spinning weapon thing that's in the room you need to avoid that that does a lot of damage it follows a person there you go um, I think I just went past it let's have a look so let me see so basically there is a weapon thing inside the room with an orange circle around it is spinning around in the room it will randomly follow a person so as you can see in the corner there there is is following someone right now so if he's following you if you're a healer if you're dps or troll if he's following any one of you guys try to move away please because that there's a lot of damage and it stuns you as well so over here this spinning finger right here so because I'm close by it it will now s okay maybe not it's going it's following a sidekick robot sidekick at the moment but now he's following the group and as you can see this guy ran away because he was there and it was following him so this thing will randomly follow different people in the group so I think that's about it for this boss you just just to recap the two bosses and um, with deathstroke you need to um avoid his laser at, at the beginning no supply drops because that would trigger his um laser beam and um, if as a tank you can use amazonian deflection to avoid the laser 99 percent of um deathstroke's skull attacks as a tank you can melee him to stop him from doing the attack uh, with the conjured minotaur kite him as a tank best as you can and the group members have to stay by the green chain that I showed you um, so when he charges, he charges towards the chains and he gets stunned for 2-3 seconds that's when the DPS can land the orbitals to damage him down and that also stops the minotaur from doing the one shot which was which was a bug hopefully they have fixed this bug at the time of this video that was, uh, um, that's been made um, I think that's about it for these two bosses. So these, so round seven is Deathstroke, and round eight is Minotaur. So you can, you can watch my videos on YouTube. You can see how I've tanked it, and just follow what I've done, and you should get past this round. I know a few people are stuck in this round, and um, they um, cannot get past him. So. Hopefully this video was useful for some of you guys out there who were struggling. So thank you for watching. If you do have any comments or um, any questions at all, please comment away and I will do my best to answer them for you. Thank you for watching. Okay, it's recording. <coughs> okay, so now for the ultimate um, soldier boss. boss. Um, as a tank you need to make sure that um, you are ranged from him and also some rage tanks can 
stay up there with him and take all the damage damage but for tanks who can't take the damage please please kite him and um with ultimate soldier um there's a few moves that you need to um counter him out of so as you can see he's about to do the motor move here as you can see he's kneeling down with his gun raised up in the air and i can just clip my um aoe pool and lunge him halfway with the clip and he gets countered as you can see he just fell he, he just fell on the floor so this is one of his moves that you can counter and as you can see the damage that was done to me was 75k but i had the shield on so he absorbed the damage so please try to counter him if you don't counter him you will lose a lot of health and end up dying there you go he's on the floor and now this part here he is um, spitting out fire at the moment so as a tank as you can see i moved away as soon as i saw him do this move because that fire hits hits a hits for you a lot of damage it does a lot of damage on you so please try to move away and occasionally you will see bombs inside the actual room and stay away from them as well because that's a one shot the fire is a one shot as well if you stay in there for too long but the bomb will definitely one shot you if you stand near it or on top of it and as as i showed you before he will do a skull attack so now there's one particular skull attack which is a one shot and that stuns the group and pushes the group back like in the raid but in this at this cr is a one shot um, everyone needs to block to avoid the one shot as a tank you need to be blocking as well because you take a lot of damage but it doesn't kill you as a tank it mostly kills your three group member your three group members in the group because they are not tanks and they don't have the high health and high defense to um to reduce the damage so on every skull attack i would recommend a group block because sometimes you can't tell when he's about to do that move let me see if i can find that move for you so skull attack no nope. that's the wrong skull let's have a look nope that's not it let's see if it does it now so as you can see there's a bomb there that's one of the that's how the bomb looks like it cannot be near it okay let me see if i can find you that skull attack and and let's have a look sorry for the background noise okay so uh, let me see if that was the right moment because it does a skull attack here that's the one so as you can see the lightning strike it did 567k damage but i was not blocking but it killed the two group members who were not blocking so when he raises his hand his rifle in the air with the lightning strikes coming off him that's one skull attack which is a one shot and you must block it so as a general rule you must block all the red skulls on this particular boss just to avoid 
yourself from getting one shotted. So it took me so long to find the actual um um this that part that skull tag I was looking for, but I found it right there. As you can see, the other two guys died because they were not blocking. It's really hard to tell when he's about to do that skull attack. Sometimes it does it, sometimes it randomly does it. So you just need to be very careful here. As you can see, that was a skull attack, but he didn't do nothing. He just went back to his rifle. And again here, he did it again. And that guy wasn't blocking and he died. So that's about it on ultimate soldier you just need to watch out for his skull attacks um his fire where he occasionally uh, points it at the group just roll back and if your dps don't get too close to him just try dps on an angle so you're facing away from him and as a tank you, you have to make sure you're tanking him towards the um well on the angle but towards the wall so it's always facing away from the group and for these bosses they are no ads it's just the one boss okay now let's continue and so this is round nine yeah this is round nine so now let's skip it forward to round ten so now this is ottoman so now <coughs> so now with ottoman you need to um he will lunge at the group a lot. Um, so you need to, he will do this three times. So you need to count his lunges. After the third time, he will go back to the tank. These three lunges, you need to roll out of it. If you just hold block, you will die because of the high CR of the boss. And he will also do a ice. He will put you inside ice. Please do not, do not break out of it. If you have any mods which has an auto breakout, please take them out. Especially in your affinity mods or mods like in your feet or chest. I'm sure there's mods which automatically break it out. I know one guy called Immortal, he had that in there and he kept on dying. So we had to change it out. Um, let me show you. See, this laser beam, you can, as a tank, you can, you don't have to block. But as a DPS or controller or healer, if he does a laser beam on you, which is just a random laser beam, it does a lot of damage, but try to block it. So now, as you can see, this skull attack is a main move you need to avoid. As you can see, I'm in the ice. I did not block out. Now this laser, see that guy, he got hit with the mines. That was, un that was very unlucky. Because sometimes when you get put into ice, the mine spawn underneath you and you get you die. Simple, simple as that. So now every time he does the ice breath and the laser, he's gonna lunge three times at a random person. So that's one lunge, second lunge, and the third lunge will be either towards me. Okay, he didn't do a third lunge. Can see as you can see that mine. I was not paying attention. So if you look here, <coughs> these mines, you need to avoid them. Let's see how much damage it did. So it did 69k damage plus the 36k damage that got absorbed by my shield. So together that is nearly over a 100k damage just from the mines. So the mines you need to be very careful of, okay? And this laser, as you can see, I I took the damage without any problems. And now he's going into his freeze breath again. And he's going to do his laser. So stay inside the ice. So them guys block out early because it ends over here. So that's one lunge. Okay, he this time he didn't, did not do the lunges. Okay, he, there's one. Let's see if it does it again. If it doesn't, then I'll move on. Okay, he doesn't. <coughs> so, some of his moves, you can melee him out of it, like I did there. But you need to, he usually does that after he he's done his three lunges on the group. 
So that's about it with Ultraman and you also get the lasso stun on you and let me show you if I ever got lassoed I believe I did once let me have a look if I can find it so you can see this um, Wonder Woman statue that is where the lasso will come from and she will occasionally do the laser beams on the floor that is where the fire will be so avoid the fire as well the fire does not do as much damage but don't stay in there please oh there you go she just did the lasso and I came off it so can you see this guy's lassoed so in this moment in time when you get lassoed Ultraman has a tendency to come and hit you and eventually kill you but sometimes it does this sometimes it doesn't so but if you do get lassoed you need to tap your mouse buttons to come out of the um, lasso move if you don't anyone around you you will kill yourself and the person around you so you can see this person nearly died because of this lasso move he got stunned and he will occasionally do um, you will see these red balls on the ground which Ultraman will do please try to avoid them I forgot what they're called but they do a bit of damage if they hit you as you can see as he gets towards the low health um, let me see if I can show you because I noticed when his health started to get low okay so can you see this f damage here 3670 3670 2701 these are the small red things which are hitting you in the room because I have my effects turned down you can't see them so yeah you need to avoid them if you see them you, don't, you may need to turn your effects up for this fight because these small ball things that do some damage but it's better to avoid it so just to recap on the bosses so this is the round 10 boss which is Ultraman so round 9 boss is um, I forgot what was it again Ultimate Soldier so melee his motor attacks avoid the bombs avoid the fire moves it does and the skull attacks try to block on every single one of them because that one shot skull um, if you don't block he will die from the damage uh, there is one move where you get stunned by the electric if you're a tank you will survive if you're not a tank after the stun and um, move has finished you will die 